see by the title, I tore my patellar tendon, um, which essentially helps you, you know, uh, bend and lift your leg. Um, I'll kind of get into the story time. Just wanted to start the vlog. I mean, the plus side is the vlogs is back, baby. We got the whole process. If you're watching this, you probably either watch me or you're in the same situation. Um, this happened on Saturday. Today's Monday. Um, I'm up pretty early just based on the fact that I tried to call to get into the orthopedic. Um, that way I can get in. They can do the MRI. I already got uh, x-rays done, ultrasounds done. It sounds like it's a rupture to my patellar. Patellar, I believe is how you pronounce it. Tendon. So, got to get in. Get everything 1,000% confirmed, which I'm sure it's already confirmed. And then get surgery and... I mean, I guess you guys can just come on this journey with me and, you know, hopefully I can motivate and inspire you as well as myself throughout this process because it's already been so mentally draining. You know, I've, I've never had an actual injury like this where I had to get surgery. Um, I'm currently in a, I don't even know what this is called, a knee brace or whatever to keep my knee straight. And, you know, lucky for me, I can actually put some weight on it but you know I did have to walk with the crutches but you know I can kind of hobble around and that's what they recommended like weight bearing like if I can tolerate it which it's fine now it's been really swollen but um bro I'm so happy because now in a couple hours I get to go to the orthopedic and just get this process going it's gonna be a long journey man they say that it takes nine months to a year to get back to where you were so I'm hoping and trying to stay positive that I can come back stronger than ever and hopefully more flexible because I've never been flexible in my whole life. So um, I guess this is truly an opportunity for me to be extremely patient with my body and hopefully come out ahead of this. So it's tough, man. And I'm going to show you guys the ups and the downs, but it sucks. I have a wedding in three months so the goal is to be able to walk and you know at least be able to dance and enjoy my wedding man god has a plan for us all um, i don't know what lesson i'm needing to learn right now but i guess we'll figure it out it's literally how i have to sit in the car I tried to sit in the front seat it didn't work out luckily for me i have many Then your name is up there on the left side, you know? Yep. And then here. So that's where the kneecaps are right now? Yeah, so it's right, the kneecaps riding a little bit high from where. So I had to get re scanned for x rays because the emergency room didn't do it right. Now we are sitting in the doctor's office or the orthopedic or what? The surgeon? Yeah, I'm still an orthopedic surgeon. You look different on camera. <laughs> Oh no! There's my knee right there. So show them where it's supposed to be. So that's the kneecap. It's riding up high. It's supposed to be down there. Because Ugh. there's nothing anchoring it down. Yeah. It completely so tore. My tendon is completely tore. So there's nothing pulling this kneecap down. Well, this is a great way to start our vlogs, vlogmas. <laughs> Can't do nothing. They also they gave you a too small knee brace at the emergency room. Yeah, they gave me and a then small. We have to get an MRI today or tomorrow, and then hopefully you want to vlog? <laughs> they can hear you. And then hopefully surgery next week. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But surgery next what? week. What? He gets to walk at our wedding. Yeah, I'll be straight for the wedding. I'll be doing my block boy. Six guy block boy. Six guy block boy. Maybe not all that, but yeah, probably not. But. At least in three months. There's hope, guys. If you tore this, there's hope. So that's all that matters. So got my little Forrest Gump. Little, that thing goes so no, this away. thing is huge, but goes up my whole leg. The Don Joy. This is the Forrest Gump ones right here pretty crazy for better or for worse why are you smelling it i just got you on camera you little 
dust bucket. To make sure your wife doesn't smell. <laughs> Why would it, st it wouldn't smell? I, I take showers, bro. Your feet were stinky last night when I was putting your socks on. I don't know why. I need you to wash my feet. Guys, I put his socks on for him. I put his drawers on for him. I put his shorts on for him. For better or for worse, doctor made me feel so much more like just I confident. told you to. He's looking up YouTube and WebMD, just psyching himself. If you're watching out. this video, you're probably doing the same exact thing. That's why I'm making this video, because no, people need to know the what process. What my father said, don't speculate until you know. Well, rule number one is you need to put good food in your body. You know what I'm saying? A little in and out. In and out is not good for your body, Michael. I know it's not good for your body. How are you influencing me? I don't got no problems. I could walk fine. <sighs> just, just once. Just kidding. This is my reward. You're right. You deserve this reward. I'm Before I eat this, I got a protein style. If that matters. That matters. But these shoes, you know, I, I didn't want to put like some fire on going to the the doctor. That's just unnecessary. But clearly, I need to step my game up. He's like, "What do you do?" I'm wearing these Uggs, you know? Those aren't even your new pair of Uggs. Those are like your super old, like your oldest pair of Uggs. There's still dusty. walking outside. Yeah, I know, but they're dusty. My dusty Uggs? Mm -hmm. He goes, what do you do? I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. He's like, that's a real thing? And I'm like, yeah, I've been doing it for 10 years. He's like, oh, well, what do you, I'm like, I do sneakers. And he's like, you do sneakers and you're wearing those? <laughs> like, <laughs> dang, bro. He roasted you. You gonna roast me? <laughs> He looked at me like that's all he's got. I was like, he's wearing Air Forces. I mean, Air Maxes. Yeah, he's wearing Air Maxes. He did me dirty. I'm like, bro. Next time I'm pull up in the Travises, okay? I'm gonna pull up in the Dior's. He won't even know. When I go, when I go get surgery, I'm wearing the Dior's. Mary thinks she's so funny, making fun of the way I'm walking. I'm not making fun of you. It's him. so funny. Ha 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 ha. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, no. drop your meat, brother. Back at home, basically, I got my date for surgery. They called me, and I'm gonna end up doing it on the 22nd of March. Got about a week from tomorrow. Today's Monday. I should just timestamp, like, today's Monday, March 14th. 2022, never know when you're gonna be watching this. My surgery is March 22nd. I'm not gonna know the time until that Monday. It's just on a Tuesday, so. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is, like, you guys can see, I can like, I can waddle around, you know what I'm saying? I can put a little bit of weight on it. I walk extremely slow. I can't go like far or anything. So I feel lucky in that sense. I think a lot of people that have this injury might not be able to do that. And they usually have to be on the crutches. But I was supposed to have my bachelor party in less than about six weeks, maybe six weeks from like this Thursday. And the doctor said, if you want to be like fully good for your wedding, you should probably skip the bachelor party because you know, we're going to Cancun and now I've basically just been trying to call the airline, call the hotel and just try to get my money back and my homie's money. I ain't got nothing better to do anyway besides that. So just picking up the kitchen, doing the little things I can now because I know as soon as I get surgery, most likely I'm not going to be able to move whatsoever for about a week. So yeah, man, just trying to, somewhat have independence it's been tough it's hard to get my socks on it's it's really hard to get like dressed it's so dumb like you don't realize how important it is just to be able to bend your knee you know what i'm saying so yeah just doing the dishes right now and like this is how i move like real slow and like to bend down i just, just kind of like bend down on one leg stick this leg out literally like bro one thing i noticed nobody on youtube wants to talk about this but sitting on the toilet with this tear bro worst thing ever especially if you're over six foot bro if, if i was shorter this is the only time i wish i was shorter because sitting on the toilet is the struggle but yeah vlogs much love thanks for watching um yeah, what else do you want to see? I'm just going to be chilling, so this ain't the end of the vlog. I'm just talking. <sighs> so there's nothing really great about this. Pretty boring. Only day three out here. Haven't even had surgery yet. Been just taking Tylenol and Advil. Not anything crazy. Don't want to rely on pain medicine. And the pain honestly isn't that bad. For me, at least. 
But I will tell you one thing that's really important, heard or not, is to stay hydrated. Bought this huge 64 gallon, or 64 gallon, 64 ounce water bottle, as well as just eating healthy. I was already doing this prior to injuring myself, so I'm glad about that. My Honestly, one of my biggest fears of this whole thing was like to gain weight and get fat. I've been working so hard to like lose weight and just add muscle and it's been going solid and tragic timing, but you know, God laughs at your plans. And I'm honestly so lucky to have all the resources that I have like in terms of, I have these hyper ice compression pads, this dope chair that it raises so it has a remote and you see how it can raise me all the way up and it's perfect for lounging. And you guys can get a good idea so your knee always has to be straight. So what's dope is this slowly comes right up and boom, perfect positioning. And uh, the hardest thing is like moving. So quick tip, you can either use a towel or a band. I'm glad I have these bands cause like I'll be able to do like bicep curls and stuff, but throw the band over your foot so you can control it and kind of move it around. That was like the first thing that I learned on YouTube and it's super effective. I'll probably show you guys eventually in one of the vlogs or one of the times I actually need to use it. I'll be the first to tell you this is not any walk in the park. Leo, don't eat my food, bro. Oh, it's actually painful. And then we got young Leo in the cut. He's trying to eat my food. Big headed boy. So what you guys could do for me is ask some questions down below and I can just answer them in the next video. But this is what I'm eating. We have some shrimp, some quinoa, um, chili. Mary made it, super healthy, tons of protein. Simple, delicious, one pan. I got any like good TV show recommendations? Because power is over. I'm watching Force right now. I don't know what else I should watch. I'm trying to figure out like what to do with my time. Like this is seriously the waiting game. Like, what can I do to get better, better myself? And this doesn't only apply to this circumstance. This is in general, you know? A lot of things that are happening right now, they're tragic. But I hope this can give me the motivation and give you the motivation to just be the best you. Because clearly, you just never know. So I've resorted to watching The Bachelor. Lord have mercy, save my soul. My IQ is going down. Huh. This guy, Clayton, thinks he's so cool, man. Doesn't he, Leo? <laughs> yeah, man. Waiting game. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'll be here. Drop your questions down below. Much love. Peace.